Classic Hits. Classic Hits. I mean, it's Sebastian, isn't it? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if that eat really looks healthy. <laughs> oh, ooh. Okay, you you eggs. Where's the sink? Oh, yeah. That looks better. Oh, that's <laughs> 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 Okay, so this is the first one. So eat all the going better than what I am. <laughs> Greg looks like he's almost done. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm the only one who's not on the stove at the moment. <laughs> yeah, with Midnight Youth and all on our own. Well, I'm not alone this morning. I've got a studio full of people this morning, which is uh, always exciting. We have four plates lined up, uh, covered in foil, and an opportunity now for us to unveil this morning's effort. So, Roderick, if you could take the covers off these things, and uh, we'll start with uh, this one at the end. So it goes one, two, three, four, close to swimming. And, oh. and presentation, of course, is, is a big part of it as well. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh, look at that one. Okay. All right. So I look at it because I, I actually don't know who's made each one. They've just got numbers on them. Um, Fiona, who's been uh, the official uh, judge and also referee by the sound of it, with the noise that's going on up at the uh, the White Bait Team Polytechnic. Now tomorrow, if you want to get involved in the White Bait Challenge, the uh, White Bait Menu Challenge, it's starting at 2 p.m. up at the Polytech. And as we get uh, the fourth one unwrapped here, I'm taking a look and. I can probably pick Seb's one out of this lot. <laughs> There's a big dough ball on one of them. <laughs> We're going to take a short break. We're going to chop into these and uh, give them a rating. It's Fiona. And uh, you've got the scores. So should we start Should we start with uh, the person who sort of was the runner-up to the runner-up to the runner-up? Okay. Uh, and all judges agree on this one. Yes. And um, the last place was number four. And that dish belonged to... Sebastian. Right, so he was he was the one with the yeah, scone. With the scone with the marshmallow on top. I can now reveal that the <coughs> secret ingredient was the marshmallow. And love. And love. Oh, I saw I watched him make this with love. Right. Yeah, and there was a green heart on the top. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we're gonna put these photos up on our Facebook page. So unfortunately Seb not winning the challenge, but uh, not even a highly commended. 
Mm, no. No, no. Well, the, well, judges, well, the judges are all nodding at this point. But he would have won first prize for effort. He's first at the other end. And it's the first time, I think it's the first time he's ever cooked anything. Right. Yeah. So good effort. So, so uh, Seb's scone yeah. comes uh, last. Mm. Um, and, 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 and then there was a bit of a, there's a bit of a tie in the middle. So yes. who, who's so, actually won it? Well, um, should we do the tie in the middle first? Okay. Okay, so the tie, joint second, yes. is um, number two and number four. Yes. I can now reveal that number two plate belonged to Greg from Greyford, okay. and that did have beer in it, you were right. Yes. And plate four belonged to Lynette. Yes. And <laughs> from the Aquatic Centre. <laughs> And that makes our winner number three, which belonged to Carol Ellie from oh, come my on. Give it up, give it up. There we go. Well wow. done, Carol. Oh, nice. Which means Carol wins the first prize, the only prize. Dominic, would you like to present the prize? Come on, Carol. Oh, she's, she's out with the moon. Carol, well done. Thank Fantastic you. effort. Thank you. And so it'll be a dinner at your place after you've read that book, won't yeah. it? Because look at the recipes in there. The world's it. It, it voted the world's best cookbook. Oh, wow. So there Everybody you go. And since so you're the world's best uh, white bait cooker now. I've got, um, I've got to get everyone to sign it because okay. I won't forget this moment. Right. And, well, thank you, Carol. <laughs> thank that you. is fantastic. Seb, um, uh, some, some, you know, maybe some uh, words oh, there about uh, how you got on with your, 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 your cooking. The, the word is that this is the first time you've actually yeah, cooked well, this. Everyone said it was a good first effort. Yeah. Team played good. Uh, it was a game of two halves? Game of two halves. Sure. Four. Yeah. Right. Well, uh, congratulations to everybody. Thank you so much to our contestants this morning. Greg, Lynette, and of course, congratulations to Carol. Uh, congratulations to Seb, I think. I don't know how I'm going to feel after. Um, I'm not going to have any more of that. Are you going to, are you going to take some of that home so you can give it to your family and say, "Hey Nan, I cooked your special <laughs> recipe." <laughs> I don't think Nan is going to be able to digest yeah, that. Yeah, no, Nan will be proud. Sure. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much, also to Tourism West Coast and also Roderick from the team at uh, Typo Tini Polytechnic. You can try it tomorrow from two o'clock up at the Polytech with the White Bait Menu Challenge Cook-Off from two o'clock.